All right, bro, catch! Ah, Cooper! Ugh, I hate you, Dan, you suck! I told you to catch it! You threw it in my face! Yeah, so what? I'm never gonna get better at football if you can't catch! Oh, whatever, I'm done with this. I need to focus on writing my book. Ugh, writing my book! You're the worst brother ever! Ow, dude, what the heck is your problem? What's going on here? Are you two fighting? Yeah, he just pushed me because I dropped the football. Daniel, it sounds like you should have caught the throw. You need to take responsibility for your actions. You always pick his side. If everyone in this family hates me, I don't understand. That's enough. Cooper, here's your allowance. Go buy yourself a new football or something, sweetie. Oh, <laughs> sweet. You guys are the worst. Stop complaining, Dan. Oh, boo-hoo. You're always going to just be a poor loser. Just wait, man. Someday I'm going to be a trillionaire. I'm going to write the world's greatest book, and you'll all see. Fat chance, you idiot. Keep dreaming. I don't care what my family says. I don't care if everyone hates me. I'm going to be a trillionaire someday. My book's going to be great. Oh, look, Jackson, there he is. Hey, idiot. Cooper told us about some stupid thing that you're doing. You're trying to write some book like you're some book writer. Y'all, like anyone would want to read. No one wants to hang out with a loser like you. It's fine. You don't have to like it. Probably not smart enough to read it anyway. Shut up, idiot. Give me that. No, come on. Give me that back. Oh, whoops. Watch your step, Dan. Oh, you guys suck. Stop it. Give it back, man. That's my hard work. What's the matter, nerd? Oh, are you going to cry? Everyone here hates you. You deserve this. Huh? No! It's my only copy, man. You're such a jerk. Oh, hey. What's going on here? Jackson took my manuscript and flushed it down the toilet. Good. Books suck. This behavior is unacceptable, Daniel. Come to my office. We need to have a serious discussion. Listen, Dan, no one cares about your stupid fantasy book. Picking on another student's unacceptable. You can't just push people. Well, what about them? They're picking on me all the time. Why aren't they punished? Because they're needed for tonight's football game, and your brother Cooper relies on them. They won't face any consequences this time. So just because they play football and they're good at it means that they can just do whatever they want? Yep, pretty much. I have no choice, Dan, but to suspend you. You need to leave the school grounds immediately. Fine. Remember, maybe this isn't all that bad. Now I got some more time to work on my book. I basically got to start over. Uh, uh, um, mom? The principal called me. I can't believe you. Getting yourself suspended for pushing one of your classmates? What has gotten into you? Well, whatever. They deserved it. I don't want to hear it. You are grounded until further notice. Fine. You go home now? Oh, I'm not here to drive you home. Cooper has a football game tonight. I know I'm not supposed to, but I don't care. I'm glad I snuck out of the house. I'm finally gonna meet my favorite author. Hey, Greg, uh, my name's Dan. I I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi, Dan. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's really nice to meet you, too. I gotta say, reading your books really helped me escape from the world. Sometimes it feels like everybody hates me. But when I'm reading your books, I just feel accepted. Feels like everybody hates you, huh? Well, let me let you in on a little secret. I used to feel that way, too. Wow, really? And you were able to create just such amazing things from that. That is actually how I created all my books. Felt like it was a way I could escape. Daniel, Stephen, Quimby, what do you think you're doing? I'm sorry, I couldn't miss this, Mom. You were supposed to be grounded. Now I find you here at the mall? Mom, this is really important to me. I'm sorry, I shouldn't even be grounded in the first place. You don't get to make the rules, young man. I do. And you, who do you think you are? Um, I'm Greg Loomis, the author well, who- Well, guess what? I don't care. Wow, this is your mom? Sorry, kid, uh, she really sucks. Funny, coming from a man who doesn't even iron his shirt. Now, Daniel, get to marching and pick those feet up. I'm sorry, Greg, this is super embarrassing. And you're constantly breaking my rules. Honestly, young man, I've had it up to here with you. You know what? I've had it with this house too, all right? All you care about is Cooper and his stupid football. You guys treat me terrible and you don't even realize it. And I have had it up to here with all of this. Your brother has a dream to be a professional football player and he needs to pursue it. So I will do anything to make that happen. What about my dreams, mom? I want to write amazing books. I want to be a trillionaire. I want to make a difference in this world. And the chances of that happening are slim to none. And you need to stop with all this fantasy book writing. It's dumb. And you think Cooper can be a professional football player? He doesn't have the discipline. No one is perfect, Daniel. These things will never take you anywhere. You're not allowed to write in this house anymore unless it's for homework. God, you know what? Whatever. 
in a few weeks I'm gonna be 18 and I'm gonna leave this house and you're never gonna see me again Hey delivery you're late. I've been waiting forever. Dude, no, I'm early. The estimated time was in five minutes from now. Are you calling me a liar? No, not at all. I just want you to know that I'm on time. Yeah, well, I hate you. I'm gonna call your manager and complain about what a jerk you are. Now give me my pizza, idiot. What's this guy's problem? You were late to deliver into one of our most valuable customers. That guy orders five pizzas a day. This is unacceptable, Dan. Oh, I wasn't. I was early. I don't know what that guy's deal is. And I don't want to hear your excuses. Your bad attitude costs us a valued customer. You're fired. You gotta be kidding me. Does it look like I'm kidding? You're done here. Ooh, what if the dark wizard casts a spell on the forest and turns the trees into monsters? Oh, I like that idea. Thanks for helping me with my book, Mason. It really means a lot to me, especially after getting fired. Yeah, no problem, man. Dude, this book is incredible. I can't wait for you to finish it. It's gonna be a big success. Plus, I need to read it. What the heck are you doing here, Dan? Trying to be smart hanging out at the library now? <laughs> Such a loser. What's your problem anyway? What are you even doing here? Shouldn't you be at work? Oh my gosh, you got fired, didn't you? <laughs> no surprise there. I mean, you're a terrible person. No wonder why everyone hates you. Shut up, Cooper. You have no right to talk to Dan like that. He's your brother, dude. What did you just say to me, nerd? Huh. Ow! Hey, stop! You can't just hit my friend! Huh. Oh! My hand! Oh, my throwing hand! <laughs> I need an ambulance! How bad is it, doctor? I'm afraid it's not looking great for Cooper's hand. It might not fully recover in time for the big game. Oh, no. I hope you're happy, Dan. We're going to lose this football game because of you. This is all your fault. What a loser. Did you just hear that guy? I can't believe you would hurt your own brother. And now he might miss the game because of you? The whole town is going to be upset. I was defending my friend. You don't get it. Cooper's a monster. He treats people like trash. Did Cooper just hurt his throwing arm? No. You did. You need to take responsibility for your actions. It's about time that you learn that. Why do you hate me, Mom? What? What are you talking about? And it's pretty obvious. Everybody hates me, even you. Why can't you see that I need love too? I don't hate you. It's just that Cooper requires more attention right now. I don't have time to get into this. I need to go check on your brother. Whatever. I'm gonna have my own life soon. You'll all see. You know, Dan, I want to thank you first for sending me your book. But this, this is incredible. It has a lot of potential to be a bestseller. Wow, seriously? Are you going to bring it to your publisher? That's like one of my main goals, getting my book published. That's how I can become a trillionaire. It all starts with the first one. Well, that is the best place to start, but sadly, they don't want to publish this book. Why? I thought you said that it was good. And it is, it is, but it's nowhere as good as mine. It'll be competing against it, and they just see it as an epic failure. Well, what if I make it better and I bring it back to you guys? I'm very sorry. It's too late, kid. They've already made up their mind. But I did want to wish you the best. And I don't want you to give up. No, I'm never going to give up. I'm going to try even harder now. This is just the beginning. You'll see. That's great, Dan. Fortunately, I have to go back to writing the next sequel. So uh, if you don't mind, see yourself out. It's fine. I'm going to write the greatest book of all time. Where's Mom and Cooper? They haven't even said happy birthday to me yet. I don't want to celebrate without them. Oh, Dan, we're going out to dinner tonight. Do you want anything from the restaurant? What? No, it's my birthday. We're all supposed to be going out. Ew, no. I know it's your birthday, but Cooper wanted to have a special dinner. Just the two of us. Yeah, and I don't want to be around you after what you did to my hand. I hate you. After what I did to you? What about what you've done to me, Cooper? Daniel, you cannot talk to your brother this way. No, I don't care anymore. I've had enough of it. You always defend Cooper. Well, I'm done. I'm leaving. And where do you think you're going? I'm 18 now. I'm going away from you guys. Yeah, well, whatever, loser. No idea where I'm going or what I'm doing, but I'm not going to be around people that hate me. I know that there's potential with this book. I'm going to be a trillionaire. And when I do, it's going to change everything. But for now, I got to find a place to stay. Dad, what the heck are you doing out here in the rain? 
Dude, I couldn't take it anymore. I just had to walk away from them. Okay, well, where are you going? You're just walking in the middle of a rainstorm. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to go hang out by the dumpster or something. Maybe I can take shelter there. Get in the car, dude. I know my dad will let you stay with us. Really? Yes, really. Now get in the car before you get sick. What's wrong with you? Dude, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. Dan, how's Cooper? Is his arm okay? Is he playing this weekend? We need a win. I don't know. I have no idea if he's going to play. It's because of you terrible things happen. Cooper's hand, my son getting picked on, you know? Dad, that's not true. I get picked on because I'm a massive nerd, not because of Dan. There's no difference between being a nerd and being friends with Dan. Dan's incredibly boring and stupid. I, I didn't mean to cause any trouble, Mason. I, I didn't ask for any of this. I'll, I'll just leave. It's fine. Uh, No, you're not. Don't worry about it, dude. My dad's just a big football fan and he doesn't even understand me sometimes he still thinks an xbox and a ps5 are the same well, thing I, I can't even be around this anymore you guys are just too annoying so don't worry about him okay let's just find you somewhere to stay we've got a couch in the basement you can sleep on oh thanks man you're a great friend hey Dan. Oh, hey, Cooper. How have you been? I'm doing much better now that my hand's healed. Listen, nerd, I need your help. Don't say anything, okay? I'm failing history class, and you're going to tutor me. Dude, I don't know if I can help you. I mean, I want to, but I'm already struggling in that class as it is. I don't care. I can't be held back again, and they might not let me play football. You're going to tutor me whether you like it or not. All right. Well, look, dude, you got to put in more effort. You got to study harder, and you just got to believe in yourself. You can do this. Yeah, right. Right, like I'd take advice from a loser like you. <laughs> Look, everybody, the loser just dropped his lunch all over himself. Ha <laughs> Well, man, awesome way to treat your brother. Thanks. Dad, did you reorganize the encyclopedias? Yeah, sir, just finished. Don't even know why we have those now, because like you can just look everything up online. But... Yeah, yeah, I know, but whatever. We have them, so great job. I'm glad you did that. I want to say thanks for all your hard work. Uh, you've been doing a great job at the library. Oh, thanks, Dylan. Appreciate you giving me the job. I've been using my money to help try to get my book published. Look, I haven't mentioned that before. I just finished writing it. I wasn't sure if you'd be interested. It's a fantasy novel. Oh, that's like my favorite genre. I'd love to read your book if you're okay with it. Yeah, that'd be awesome. We're working really hard on this, so maybe an extra set of eyes could help. Thanks. Oh, this is awesome. Dylan's the head librarian. And he's written a book himself. Maybe this is the start that I needed. Next, Next up, up, Daniel, Daniel Harrison. Harrison. Congratulations, Dan. Thanks, Principal Earl. And next, next up, up, Cooper, Cooper Harrison. Harrison. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Let's go, Hawks. <laughs> yeah. Dan, where do you think you're going? We're all going out to dinner to celebrate. Yeah, well, I'm going back to Mason's house. Plus, I know you guys don't really want me there. Hey, that's not true. We want you to be there. <coughs> hey, what did you do to Mom? Why is she coughing like this? He didn't do anything, Cooper. <coughs> I'm fine. <coughs> See, dude, I didn't do anything. You can't just blame me for every single thing that happens. It's not all my fault. Just go away, Dan, okay? We don't want you anywhere near us. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to be around you either, so looks like I was Dan, right after all. <coughs> please wait. Just forget about him, Mom. So, Dan, have you already started planning your next book? Well, sort of. I mean, I got to focus on getting this one published first before diving into the next one. Dan! Dan! You won't believe it. This is the greatest book I've ever read. I immediately called my buddy at a publishing company. Guess what? They want to publish your book. They're going to start printing copies. That's incredible news. I can't believe it, Dylan. I owe you everything. You don't owe me anything, Dan. Just promise me one thing. Let's have the book opening right here at the library. It'll be a great way to celebrate. Oh, absolutely. My dream, it's finally happening. Hey, Mom, Cooper, anyone home? What are you doing here? Where's Mom? Mom's at work. All right, cool. I got something really important to tell you. My book got published, and they're having a launch party at, at the library tomorrow. I wanted to invite both you and Mom to come and be a part of it. Still obsessed with that stupid book? Newsflash, Dan. Mom and I don't care about your dumb book. We both think you're a loser, and that's never going to change. Plus, it's probably a lie anyways. Who would publish that trash? Fine, whatever. It's okay if you don't believe in me, Cooper. I'm proud of my book, and I believe in myself. And you know what? I'm going to make a ton of money. And your opinion doesn't define my self-worth. Oh, really? You don't care what I think? Well, you should care, Dan. I'm going to play college football, 
and I'm gonna be a star. You'll never be famous like me. And I'm gonna be way richer than you. Well, good luck with your football dreams, Cooper. I mean, I genuinely mean that. I hope you find what you're looking for. Just get out! Ugh! I don't wanna see your stupid face anymore. So, what are we doing here, dude? Like, I want some wings, I'm hungry. My loser brother is launching his loser book here. So we're gonna steal them. Then we can go eat wings and burgers or what? Yes, then we can go eat wings. Come on. Awesome, amen. Let's go. Don't do anything stupid. There they are. Those are the books we're after. Start grabbing them and put them in your car. This is the moment you've been waiting. Wait, what? What's going on? Why are people so upset? There's no books for the book release. Yeah, you suck, Dan. You're a loser. Wait, no, there's gotta be a mistake. No, 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 come on! Oh, man, look. I know I'm not a total failure, Mason. It seems like failure might have worked in your favor, dude. What do you mean? The demand for your book skyrocketed after the launch. The physical copies being stolen made people buy your book online. And the reviews are incredible! Oh, let me see this. Whoa! I made $100,000 in a night from this book? That's incredible! Yeah, it is! You're on your way to being a real trillionaire now! Sorry, Mason. My mom's calling me. Give me one second. Hey, Mom. What, what's up? Oh, hello? Yeah, I'm her son. Oh, okay, I'll be, I'll be right there. Dan? I gotta go. Dan? Dan, what's wrong? You idiot! Why didn't you tell me Mom was sick? I didn't know either, Cooper. Mom didn't tell me anything. You're the one that lives with her. This is all your fault. You never cared about mom or me. It's always been about you and your stupid book and your own selfish dreams. It's not true, Cooper. I didn't know about mom's illness, okay? And I care about both of you. I've always been there for you, even when it seemed like you didn't want me around. Yeah, well, I definitely don't want you around now. I can't stand being near you. Ugh. Um... What's wrong? Why didn't you tell us about this? I've been sick for a long time, Dan, but I didn't want to burden the family. I knew you could handle it better than Cooper. Mom, I, I didn't realize. Sorry if I ever made you feel like you had to hide your pain from us. I'm so sorry too. I should have trusted you more. You've always been so independent. I know you can handle anything that comes your way. So that's why you treated me differently? Cooper needs more attention and guidance. He seems tough, but he's not. He needed to feel seen and supported. I thought it was best for him, but I see now that I may have overlooked your needs in the process. Gosh, why didn't you tell me this earlier, Mom? It's just you and him now, and he'll need your help more than you know. I promise, Mom. I'll watch out for him. I'll be there. Thank you, Dan. I love you. Ugh. Mom! Mom! Someone help! Someone help! Quick, help! Mom always wanted us to stick together. It's important that we honor our memory by just doing that. Stop lying, Dan. Mom and I both hated you, and we always will. You were never there for us. You're wrong, man. Mom loved us both, and she wanted us to be there for each other. She knew I could help you, and I want to be there for you too. Help me? I don't want your help. I'm a big time college football star. You're just a pathetic nerd. You're nothing. Cooper, my book's so successful. It can provide both of us with a really big chance of success. I'm gonna be a trillionaire, man, and I want you by my side. I'm not gonna listen to a loser like you. I don't need your help, and I don't want it. Maybe one day he'll come around. Maybe he'll realize that we can be there for each other just like mom wanted, but I don't know. He's just so stubborn and selfish. Can't give up though. Yes, finished it, second book complete. Dude, I just got lost in this house. This place is huge. It's not that big. Uh, yeah, it is. I've been looking for you for an hour. Did you know that you have three pools? What are you doing, dude? I just sent off my second book to my publishers. It's done. Dude, whoa, I can't believe it. It's only been two years since your first book and that made you a hundred million dollars. Dude, you're living the dream. It really has been incredible. I never imagined that my book would resonate with so many people like this. The love and support has been like, Kind of overwhelming. So are you a trillionaire yet or what? No, not yet. But maybe someday soon. But whatever, let's take a break and have some fun. I've got this awesome TV for gaming. Oh, this is awesome. This thing is insane. Hey, how's uh, your brother doing though? Have you heard from him at all? No, I haven't heard from him much since the funeral. Tried reaching out, but he hasn't returned any of my calls or messages. Oh, uh, that's a shame. I mean, he's always been stubborn. And I know you've always wanted to help him. Maybe he'll realize that someday. Yeah, I believe that too. 
And I'll keep reaching out to him even if it takes time. I wanted him to know that I'm here for him. But let's just go enjoy ourselves. Let's let's do some gaming, man. I've got a big meeting tonight. I gotta relax before that. Oh yeah, prepare to lose. So it's settled then. The book is gonna be a movie. Count me in, Dan. My company would love to produce it. And we're on board, we got a deal. Wait, they wanna make this book into a movie? Dan, I'm your agent. Would I lie to you? I can't believe it. See my book come to life on the big screen? It's a dream come true. This is going to be huge for you, kid. We're not just stopping at the movie. We're gonna sell merchandise, create TV shows, video games, so much more. That's incredible. I hope they'll consider adapting my second book too. Well, let's focus on the first First one success, Dan. We'll take it one step at a time. Absolutely. We'll make sure the movie becomes a sensation. Your talent deserves all the recognition it can get. Now, if you gentlemen don't mind, I have to tell my son about this. He'll be so excited. He loves your book, Dan. Really pumped about this. Woo! Get ready, Dan. Your life is about to change. Yo, Mason, I got some big news. Yeah, meet me tonight for dinner. You won't believe what's happening. What? Dude, I can't believe it. It's gonna become a movie? I know, it's surreal. I couldn't have done it without your support, Mason. Yeah, I know. Hey guys, welcome to the restaurant. I'm Cooper, I'll be your... Oh, hey Dan, nerd guy. You work here? Oh, it's, it's good to see you, man. Yeah, I mean, totally. Hey, remember that one time I threw the football and we won? What? Yeah, it was pretty awesome, huh? I mean, everyone loved me. Cooper, why are you acting weird? What's up with you? Yeah, man, you seem different. What's going on? What about school? Uh, don't worry about it, dude. Dude, I'm awesome. But, uh, Dan, can I talk to you alone real quick? Yeah, sure. Hey, listen, I've been struggling a lot lately. I thought I could figure it all out, you know? I mean, back when I was a star quarterback and all, everything seemed so easy. I was supposed to be rich and famous, but things didn't turn out the way I expected. Man, Cooper, I've been waiting for you to reach out. I've always wanted to help you, but I can't count how many times you said you hated me. Yeah, and sorry I picked on you, I guess. I was just too proud to ask for help, but now I'm at a point I can't do this on my own anymore. Look, I'm here for you, all right? I'll give you one more chance. Let's work together and turn things around. Why don't you come over tonight after work? Where, where are you living? Oh, um, on Jackson's couch? And his girlfriend kind of hates me. Well, get your stuff. You can stay with me. Awesome. Thanks, dude. I appreciate this more than you know. Dan, I've got incredible news. The launch of your second book was a massive hit. We've already sold millions of copies. Oh, let's go. That's amazing, Jason. Another bestseller. I can't believe it. And guess what? The movie for your first book is going to start filming next week. And they love your brand new book so much, they want to jump right into that one as well. Wait, the second book? But the first movie isn't even released yet. Dan, these books are red hot right now. The demand is incredible and everyone wants in. They want to capitalize on this momentum. Wow, this is beyond my wildest dreams. I think people like my stories that much. Wow. Movie? Did I hear a movie? Dan, I, I should be the lead role. I mean, I've always been a star and I'm ready to shine again. <laughs> oh, Cooper, they're looking for real actors, not some washed up football stars. Hey, I was the star on the field, okay? And I can do this. Dan, put me in your movie, okay? Coop, look, it's, it's really not up to me. The production team has their own vision and professional actors. Nothing personal. <sighs> you know what, forget it. I don't need your help or your stupid movies anyways. Quiet on set! Oh, this is wild. It's just like I imagined it would be. This movie's gonna be so sick. Oh gosh, fire! Hey, everyone, there's a fire! Oh, the whole set's burning down. You never gave me a chance, Dan. You left me out of your movie. So now, no more movie. So you decided to set this place on fire, put people in danger. That's your solution. Well, it's your fault. If you had just given me a role, none of this would have happened. No, Cooper, this is on you. You're a grown man acting like a baby throwing a tantrum. I can't believe you would resort to something like this. We're done. Fine. I don't need you or your stupid money or your cars or your mansions anyways. They all suck, just like you. Good. Pack your things and leave. Mom would be really disappointed, Cooper. Ugh, this is all your fault. I hate you. We can't let Dan get away with this. He's nothing but a loser, and he can't be more successful than us. We were the stars of the football team. Ah, uh, I don't know, Cooper. Like, he is your brother after all. Y'all, dude, we're all grown-ups now. High school was years ago. Isn't it time to move on? Andrew, Jackson, do you even hear yourselves? This is a nerd we're talking about. He's not my brother. 
That's cold, dude. Ah, seriously, dude. Oh, you're just as pathetic as he is. I know what your problem is. You always thought he was cooler than me, huh? Admit it. Yeah, all right, fine, dude. Yeah, he's cooler than you, man. Guy's got a book and a movie. Like, yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah, I thought he was cool too. I mean, Dan's got talent and he's like a billionaire now. I can't believe you'd betray me like this. If you're not gonna help me, I'll do it on my own. Oh, and by the way, we're not friends anymore either. Diane, congratulations on the success of your movie. It's already breaking records. You've got to be a trillionaire by now. Thank you so much. It's been an incredible journey. I'm just grateful for the support of my fans and everyone who's enjoyed the book and the movie. Well, it's well-deserved success, Dan. The audience is loving it, and so am I. Hey, this is actually my movie. Dan stole it from me. This is trash. Hey, get your hands off me. Come on, weirdo. Get out of here. No, no, this guy's a loser. Come on. Ah, <sighs> Cooper. Dan. Man, seems like you have some history with that man. Any idea who he is? Yeah, that's my brother. Well, I'm sorry if my words are insensitive. I didn't know he was your brother, but I will admit he is a terrible person and I hate him. Yeah, family's complicated. But hey, you know what? Back to the movie. Let's talk about that. Whoa, Dan, I can't believe it's really you. Yeah, it's, it's me, man. I've been a fan for so long. Thank you for coming to this book signing. Yeah, well, thanks for being here. Because of people like you, I get to do what I love. I'm just so glad to have you as a fan. You know, sometimes I feel like everybody hates me. But when I read your books, I can escape into the world you created. You know, I used to think the same thing, too. Wait, really? You did? I did, but I don't anymore. Writing these stories was my way of escaping, too. Now they're connecting me with really cool people like you. Oh, wow. You're my hero, Dan. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dan, this is incredible. With the final copies of the book you sold today, you have officially become a trillionaire. After everything that I've gone through, all these challenges, I'm finally a trillionaire. I did it. Ronnie, stop. That's my laptop. Give it back. Over my damn body. No, 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 no. Not my laptop. No. Take that, Noah. I hate you. Come on, please turn on, please. No. Oh, what? You're going to cry now? <laughs> Ronnie, that was my key to becoming a billionaire. Billionaire? You don't even make 20 bucks. You're a loser. Dad, please. I need a ride to the electronic store. Why? So I can buy you new headphones? No, I need to fix my laptop. Why would I help you after you've been so horrible? to your brother yesterday. What are you even talking about? Get your own ride. I am so disappointed in you. You are terrible. Dad, wait. Ugh, fine, whatever. Just walk to the electronics store myself then. So what do you think? Can you fix it? Yeah, in your dreams. This thing is toast. This has got to be the trashiest laptop I've ever seen. Well, I did get run over by a car. It's seen better days. So why do you even want to fix this hunk of junk? Well, I can't just buy a new one and I need it for work. Well, there's no fixing this disaster. So, oh well. So really, there's nothing you can do at all? I'll offer you a couple quarters and a stick of gum for it. Come on, dude. Seriously? That's a ripoff. All right, all right, fine. I'll give you 20 bucks for it. Take it or leave it. At least the school will let me use their computers. I think it's best I invest some of this money. I hope it goes to good use. Before I know it, maybe it'll even double in return. Yeah, let's see. Oh, this one looks good. What are you doing? Wasting your money on a dumb investment? What do you want, Ronnie? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to see what the next billionaire was gonna do with his $20. Oh, you think you're so smart, don't you? I'm just trying to make the right decisions. I want to be rich one day. Maybe this is the way to do it. Yeah, well, if you're really smart, you would have spent that money on a haircut because your hair looks ridiculous. No, it doesn't. Just leave me alone. You know, Noah, this is why no one likes you and everyone likes me. Oh, yeah, Ronnie? Do they? They do. I happen to be the most popular kid in school. I have way more friends than you. And even Stacy has a crush on me. None of that even matters, Ronnie. Just knock it off. Oh, yeah? And what are you going to do about it? You're just a nobody. All right, boys, that's enough. This library is peace and quiet only. He's the one that started it. All right, Noah, you're coming with me. Seriously, why do I get detention? I didn't do anything. Because this is where you belong. Starting fights in the library, you're nothing but a rule breaker. Now you're going to stay in detention and be quiet. Ugh, great detention. Wait a second. Timmy? Hey, Timmy, what are you doing here? You're like the nicest guy in school. Well, according to the teachers, I was the one who started a food fight. Even though I was getting my head pushed into a bowl of spaghetti. Ugh, not the cafeteria spaghetti. That's nasty. Right? That's what I'm saying. They blame the whole thing on me. Oh, man, I'm really sorry. Seems to be a running theme today. Something similar happened to me. Yeah, well, what are you in for? My brother came over and started picking a fight, and then he pushed me in the library and thought I was the one that started it. Your brother was picking on you? Yeah, all because 
because I want to be a billionaire. Oh man, that's a huge goal. Yeah, I know. And sometimes it almost seems impossible, but I know if I believe in myself, I'm gonna make it possible. I mean, it's my dream. I have to do it, right? Well, I think so. You're a smart guy. You can make anything happen. Yeah, and then I'll prove my brother wrong. What did I say when I brought you in here? Shut up! Ugh, sorry. Sorry. That just bought you an extra 20 minutes! Ugh, I can't believe the librarian kept us that late after school. The sun's already setting. I am hungry. I wonder how my investment's doing. Let's check it out. No. No, that's impossible. A thousand dollars already? How? There's no way. Oh my gosh, this is incredible! A thousand dollars! thousand dollars? What do you mean? Let me see that. See? That's the investment you told me was stupid, Ronnie. No way is this all yours. This is fake. It's gotta be a screenshot. No, it's real. You could refresh it, too. You see? I told you, one day I'm gonna be a billionaire. Give me my phone back. I don't think so. Oops. What is wrong with you? Oh, well, so much for that thousand dollars. Ronnie, that's not how money or an investment or even the internet in general works. You just broke my phone, that's all. Yeah, well, shut up. So you should give me some of that thousand dollars so I can have my investment. No, Ronnie, that's my money. I'm not just gonna give it to you. Fine, then. If you're not gonna give it to me, then I'll just find my own way to take it. What is going on here? Everything's destroyed. Take this and this. What is he doing? Ronnie, knock it off. Oh, and you. Oh, hey. What in the world are you doing? What am I doing? More like, what are you doing? Here, take this. Ronnie, you are acting insane. Destroying our home? Seriously? Hey, boys, I'm... Huh? Huh? What on earth did you do? Dad? No one just started running around the house smashing everything and screaming at me? What? Dad, that is not true. Look at this mess. You broke everything, Noah. Well, it looks like you turned the house into a reflection of yourself. Yeah, well, Noah still has a thousand dollars, so he can pay for everything he's just broke. What? A thousand dollars? Noah, is that true? How did you get that money? I'm sure that he stole it or something. Ronnie, cut it out. I didn't. You probably did steal it. That's enough out of you. You've got a thousand dollars. You're gonna give me that money. To fix what you've done. That's it. I'm done with this place. I've had enough. There's no way I'm giving Ronnie my money. If I stay around here, he's definitely gonna steal it. No one believes in me anyways. None of my family likes me. My dad doesn't believe in me. I just sneak away now. They're probably not even gonna notice. I'm just gonna start my new life. I'm gonna prove them wrong. <sighs> but I have nowhere to go. Maybe I have an idea. Hey, man. I got your text. What are you doing? Hey, is it all right if I crash at your place for a while? What? Why? What's going on? I I just can't live at home anymore, and I've got nowhere else to go. You were the first person I thought of. Eesh, I'm sorry, man. I don't think there's gonna be any way my parents let that slide. The world is purple, guys! You all need to listen to me! The world is purple! Roblox is over! Where? Where is my home? Where's my home? Please, Timmy, I'm begging you. My entire family hates me. I've got nowhere else to go. I can't stay out here on the streets. Mm, all right, fine. Come on, I'll sneak you in. Oh, you are the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you helping me out, man. This means a lot. Yeah, of course. It's no sweat. I wonder how my investment's doing. Can't really check it on my phone. My screen is broken. Oh, if you want it, you can check it on my computer. It's right over there. Password's just a slide cheese. The slide cheese? Really? Yeah, what? Who made you the password police? That's a good password. All right, let me just sign in. Whoa! Timmy, this is crazy! I have $10,000! You've what? I know you can make money like that. Yeah, I didn't either. I knew if I invested some of my money, it would grow, but not this fast. I need to take this and invest it and other things. Yo, dude, your phone's ringing. Oh, I can't see who it is. Hello? Who is this? What? Who is this? This is your father. Where are you? Look, I'm sorry, Dad, but I'm not coming back, okay? I'm not coming back. Whatever. I don't care. Your brother broke his leg riding a dirt bike. <sighs> Seriously? Yes, and he's in the hospital. You need to be here right now. <sighs> well, I guess I have to go check up on my brother. Oh, where could my dad be? Oh, there he is. Sorry, sir. That's the price of the bill. I can't negotiate it with you. There's no way I can afford this. There's no way anybody can afford this. He just broke his leg. How is it this expensive? Well, maybe if your son was more careful while riding a dirt bike, this wouldn't have happened in the first place. I can't believe this. Spend the money on the dirt bike and spend the money on the broken leg. Uh, how am I going to afford this? Dad, don't worry. I'll take care of it. What? No, no. What? You're just a stupid kid. There's no way you have that kind of money. Okay, seriously, you don't know me at all. I do have that kind of money, and I just want my brother to be okay. All right, if you got the money, we'll let you pay for it. How on earth could you get that kind of money? What are you doing, stealing now? No, it's not stolen, Dad. You just should have believed in me. Uh, again with this dumb billionaire thing? Yes, and obviously, it's working. It doesn't seem like you care. No one does. Yeah, well, thanks for helping out. Now you're doing this whole running away, living alone thing. But if you want, you're welcome back anytime. Whoa. Okay, thanks, Dad. Maybe I will go back. I hope Ronnie's leg's okay. It's been like a month or so since it happened. He said he'd come pick me up. Can he actually drive? Where is he? 
there he is. Are you ready or not? I have a party to go to. Yeah, no, I'm ready. Thanks for giving me a ride. This is a really important meeting. Yeah, whatever. Now we're even for the whole leg thing. Well, I did that because you're my brother. Shut up. Now here you are. Get lost. All right, thanks, Ronnie. Whatever. All right, that must be him. Noah, you've got this. You got this. Uh, excuse me, you're the real estate man, aren't you? Hi, my name's Noah. Uh, hello. Uh, I thought I was meeting someone that wanted to buy the building. Yeah, that's me. I want to buy it. What? You're like 15. You can't be serious. I am serious. And I have the money for it. I want to buy this building and I'm going to start a business with it. Well, this is kind of unheard of. But if you got the money, we could talk. Trust me, I've got it. Just from looking at this place, I know this is the one. Oh man, that thing drives so fast. I can't believe it's only been three years since I started investing. And now I'm really successful. I was able to buy my dream car. You are the way, loser. You're in my spot. Ronnie, calm down. Watch where you're going. Why should I watch where I'm going? Why don't you watch for your parking. All I did was park in the driveway. And you just hit my car. Yeah, whatever. I think I care. Well, you should care. I spent a lot of money on it. Ronnie, where are you going? Get back here. Ugh, he's impossible. Well, we made enough money you can get your car fixed. Thought your brother, though? I don't know. I think you need to help him out. What? Me help him? Yeah, it seems like your brother's going through a pretty tough time. He's not really hanging out with his friends. He seems to be alone. Why is that my problem? Because he's your brother, that's why. Why don't you help him get a job? <sighs> Fine. Fine, I'll help him get a job. I'm late to a really important meeting. Hey, it's you again. I can't believe you still work here. Yeah, what do you want? I'm really busy. Oh, well, I'm actually here to buy the building. You what? No, 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 you can't do this. Th this is my life. I breathe computers. Well, your business is failing and the building is for sale, so I'm I'm buying it. Plus, you rip people off all the time. You never help anyone. So I'm gonna make this into something more. Well, okay. I, I know the business is failing, but there's not much I can do. Well, you could try being nice to people. That's usually a good start. Well, look. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry I was a jerk. All that stuff was in the past. Please, you have to give me a chance. Please. Oh, well, look. If you promise to work hard and actually be nice and helpful to people, I guess it would be fine if you work for me. Oh, well, thank you so much. You're not gonna regret this. I promise. Yeah. Yeah, well, I hope not. As of now, I'm your new boss. What I say goes around here, and you're under my watch. If I see you be rude to one customer... Well, don't you worry. The old Clarence is gone. This is the new Clarence. Well, good. Just so you know, Clarence, we're gonna have a new employee starting here real soon. Woo, that car is pretty. Wait, no way. Well, I can see that you're enjoying your dad's money. What? Look at this car. There's no way you could afford this. Um, actually, I can afford this. I earned this with my own money. <laughs> yeah, right. You're just a spoiled little brat. That's not true. You don't know me at all. Just leave me alone. I'm a librarian. Do you have any idea what I have to go through every single day? You don't deserve this car. I do. Why? Just because you're a librarian? Yeah, and I deal with you stupid kids all the time. You're as dumb as a streetlight. What does that even mean? I don't know. It just sounded good. You can drive around in this fancy car all you want. You're going to be nothing. Nothing but a loser. I'm gonna be a billionaire. Just wait and see. <laughs> a billionaire? Yeah, right. No one in this town becomes a billionaire, that's for sure. Oh, yeah? Well, then watch and learn, because I'm gonna be the first one then. Yeah, yeah. I'll be waiting to see you crash and burn. Go enjoy some more of your dad's money, you spoiled brat. Ugh, you're a mean, mean man. Ugh. Noah, this is a waste of time. What are we doing here? Well, I just bought this electronic store, and this is my new business. And I'm giving you a job. What? I don't need a job. Uh, yes, you do. Plus, I promised Dad I would help you out. Well, let's make one thing clear here. I don't do jobs. That's not me. What are you even talking about? How are you gonna move forward in your life without any kind of goal or job or money? You already know my plan. I'm gonna be a big, famous football star. I'm just waiting for a coach to pick me up. And in the meantime, why don't you just get a job? That way you can make your own money. Come on, just come in and check it out, okay? Ugh. All right, fine. Whatever. If it'll get you to shut up. Don't you see? It's not that bad. Yeah, I guess it's all right. Computers aren't pretty sick. See? And I know you know a lot about computers. You would do great at this job. Why don't you just give it a shot? Yeah, whatever. Fine. Am I the manager or what? Uh, we'll start you off as a sales associate first. And then maybe you'll become the manager one day. So what do you say? Are you in or what? Yeah, yeah. I'll do it. All right, awesome. I could really use your help on this. It means a lot. Good luck, Ronnie. I know you'll do good at this. Hey, Timmy. Man, it's so good to see you. I feel like I've been so busy.
busy lately. We haven't caught up. I can't believe how far you've came, man. This is incredible. I know. Just a couple years ago, I was a completely different person. Now, this is just the beginning. Are you ready for this real estate meeting or what? I'm as ready as ever. <laughs> awesome. I cannot wait to have you be a part of this. Come on. The real estate agent's waiting. And then cancel my four o'clock and tell that guy he's a loser and I'll never do a business with him again. Hold on. My friend's coming. Hey, Noah. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, man. Nice to see you, too. I want to talk to you about this place. I mean, it is a little bit on the pricey side, but I know you've got the money. Yeah, I was looking at the paperwork. There's no way this place costs that much. Trust me, it's true. This is the top of the top. Come on, I know you're always looking for the next business deal, looking to make more money. So am I. This will help me get rich. I mean, make us rich. Oh, well, I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you know what? I think you might be right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on, come on. What are you talking about? This is going to be great. Please don't back out on this deal. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're trying to take advantage of me. You're trying to sell me this dump so that you can make more money. What? No! No, I would, I would never do something like that. Look, man, I'm not taking the deal. Me and my friend, we're out of here. Come on, Timmy, let's go. Wait, 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 come back. Oh, man, there goes my commission. Well, this is it, Timmy. The grand opening of the food bank. I have to say, I think it's going pretty well. Dude, this is amazing. You would afford all this stuff? Yeah, I saved up about a half a million dollars, and now I want to help people out. I know there are tons of people around here that deserve it. Yeah, man, there are. I mean, look, there's already people lining up at the door. This is going to make a big difference. I'm just glad that a lot of this hard-earned money is gonna go help people in need. Wait a second. What? Ronnie? Ronnie, what are you doing here? Ugh. It was so boring at the store. I needed a break. I just wanted to come see what this place was. Ronnie, you're supposed to be working at the electronics store. You can't just leave your job just because you want to. Oh, oh, you just give this out to people? Yeah, we give it out to people that actually need it. Now put that down. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Chill, chill, fine. No, Ronnie, I've had enough of this. You need to stop acting ridiculous. What? I'm not acting ridiculous, but fine. I guess I'll go since I know I'm not wanted here. Ronnie, that's not what I meant. It's just, uh Don't Sorry, I know exactly what you meant. Take this! Ugh. Ronnie, are you kidding? Ugh. Ugh, stupid no one is stupid money. Ooh, look at me. I'm so rich. I have so much. Ugh, I can't stand him. You know, all that money is just getting to his head. You know, I don't even know why I took this stupid job. I don't need it. I don't need anything from Noah. I'm going to show him just how much I don't need anything. I'm going to quit. And you know what? I think before I do, I'm going to teach him a lesson. <laughs> That's way better. Dude, that was so not cool. Yeah, well, enjoy working at this useless store, loser. Uh, this better not be true. Oh, no, no, look at this place. Clarence, when you called, I didn't think you were actually serious. Yeah, your monster of a brother did all this. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have hired him. It's only a matter of time before he did something immature and stupid. I'm gonna go have a talk with him right now. What am I gonna do about all this stuff? See if there's anything you can fix. I'll be back to help you in just a bit. Ronnie, Ronnie, are you home? Yeah, what's up, man? What's up? Are you joking me right now? What is your problem? You threw one of your temper tantrums and destroyed everything at the store. And what about it? You deserved it. I deserved it? No, no one deserved it. You're just acting out like a child. I'm trying to make something out of myself. I'm like you. Whoa, whoa. Hey, Noah, that was uncalled for. Dad, you cannot be serious. You're taking Ronnie's side over this? He destroyed the entire electronic store. Look, sometimes brothers fight. You can't control it, okay? Just leave your brother alone. Leave him alone? No. What? That's it. I'm done. I don't need you, and I don't need you. I don't need anybody. I am so sick of this. Where are you going? Noah, come back here. <laughs> Later, loser. Whoa, I still can't get over how awesome this place is. I mean, leaving home the way I did probably wasn't the best, but I had to get out of there. At least now, Timmy and I can just do our own thing. And I'm going to be graduating soon. This is exactly what I needed. Whoa, dude. I know you showed me the pictures, but this place looks even better in person. I know, man. Looks like we're really living the dream, you know? Now we're not going to have any distractions from my annoying brother or my inconsiderate dad or anybody else. We are one step away from becoming billionaires. Don't forget, too, we're graduating in a week. Ah. <sighs> No more school and the rest of our lives ahead of us. I know it sounds beautiful. I cannot wait, but I've actually been thinking and I kind of have a new idea. Oh boy. Another one of your crazy ideas, huh? All right, well, what is it this time? Well, thinking about graduating, I actually have an idea to give back to the school. Well, as most of you know, my, my name, name is Noah, Noah and I'm going to be graduating soon. So as my graduation gift, I want to give the school a million dollars. Look out!
half a million dollars? This is amazing. The greatest gift we've been given so far. Well, I'm just glad to help, Principal Waddles. Because of your generous donation, we want to name our library after you. We'll even paint your name on it. Wow, thank you. That actually would be really cool. Having a building named after me? I never saw that coming. This is ridiculous. You're giving him a library? What about me? Yo, who is that guy? This is so stupid. I should have something named after me. Why don't you name the football field after me? Ronnie, you're causing a scene and making a fool of yourself. Just go home. You know what? I will go home. This whole place sucks. You suck. I'm going home. I still can't believe I'm doing this. I mean, I'm gonna go have dinner with Dad and Ronnie. Been a long time. Hey, Dad. Hi, Ronnie. There he is. Noah, gotta say, I am so proud of you. Getting a whole building named after you at your school? Come on. Only successful people have that. Yeah, thanks, Dad. I really appreciate it. It's kind of cool. Kind of doing pretty good for yourself. You know, in honor of all of your accomplishments, I decided to get you a little gift. Wait, really? You got me a gift? Yeah, I mean, you remember when we were younger and I destroyed your laptop all those years ago? Yeah, I remember. Did you get me a new laptop? Well, what's this in my hand? Is it for you? Wow, thank you so much, Ronnie. I'm shocked. No, really, you don't have to thank me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ronnie, that was my laptop. Yeah, well, not anymore. You see the look on his face? <laughs> really, Ronnie? You're acting like a child. Yeah, well, you finally come home after so long, and you're still just such a big shot around us. That's not true. You are the one that's acting out for no reason. Actually, you know what? I think there is a reason, and you're just not telling me. Yeah, I'm acting out like this because you're dumb. I'm dumb? Look at me, Ronnie. I think you're just jealous of me. I have a great job, and I live on my own, and you're still at home living with Dad. You know what? That's it. Get out. Boys, you need to stop this. This is getting out of hand. Calm down. No, he made this get out of hand. Get out. You are not welcome here. Yeah, that sounds great. Thank you so much. Next Friday sounds perfect. Great, I'll see you there. Well, that sounded good. What's going on? Well, that was one of the most successful businesses in Roblox, and they want to do business with us. That was just the CEO. Dude, that's insane. Do you have any idea how many people want to work with this company? If we keep this up before we know it, we're both going to be billionaires in no time. Ooh, we'll be billionaires in no time. Yeah, well, not on my watch. I can't let my little brother be more successful than I am. I'm not gonna let him get away with this. I have a call to make. Man, this place is crazy. Hey, Jeremy, Ronnie, hey, it's great to see you. Man, it's been so long. I mean, what, I've seen you since school? I know, how have things been since then? Uh, I mean, I'll be honest, things aren't really going all too great for me. I mean, that's actually why I'm here. Well, hey, you need to get over the past. You gotta start giving yourself a better future. And that's why you're just the person I wanted to talk to. I want to become successful on my own and for my other personal reasons. Listen, Ronnie, we've been best friends for years. If I'm gonna do this for anyone, it's gonna be you. Well, I've been looking for a job, so I was wondering if there's anything that I could pick up. Yeah, of course, we definitely have a place for you. What do you say? Yeah, I'd love to get started. Here, let me get some paperwork for you to sign. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect! Oh, my brother's going down. And here we are. This is gonna be great. Hey, loser, what are you doing here? I'm here for a very important business meeting. Ronnie, what are you doing here? I work here, dork. Hey, really? I had no idea. Good for you, man. Hopefully it'll bring you what you need in your life. Oh, it sure will. In fact, it already has. Well, that's good. Ronnie, I'm actually proud of you. I'm glad you're starting to make the right choices for yourself and for dad. Well, it was nice to see you, but I might be late for the meeting. I need to go. You better not be doing any business with this company. Ugh, I can't believe him. I'm not going to let this slide. Thanks again for meeting with me. I'm so excited to start working with you. Yeah, likewise. Joining together is going to make both of us a lot of money. And also give back, which is even better. I cannot let this happen. Jeremy, what are you doing? Uh, Ronnie, I'm in the middle of a business meeting here. You are acting out of line, Ronnie. Stop. No, I'm not going to stop. Jeremy, you cannot do business with him. This is my brother. He's garbage. Look, Ronnie. This is the real world now. I'm not just gonna not do business with him because he's your brother. You're acting way out of line. I am not acting out of line. This guy thinks he's better than everyone else in this room. Jeremy, you have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, you know what? I gave you a chance and you blew it. You're fired, Ronnie. Wait, what? You heard me. You're fired. I want you out of my office now. 
No, but this is all your fault. Timmy, I just don't really know what to do. I don't know how to get to my brother. I'm trying so hard, but I feel like I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm also not doing anything right. I just can't get to him. Do you want my honest opinion about your brother? Yeah, of course I do. I just think he doesn't want to grow up. I mean, he kind of peaked in high school. Yeah, I think you might be right. It's like he's still back there, thinking he's the most popular person in school. He's my brother. I don't want to just, like, give up on him. No, you're right. You shouldn't. Family sticks together. But at the same time, too, there is a time and place to call it quits. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe it's crazy to think if I keep doing the same thing, I'll expect Ronnie to change. Whatever I've done so far, obviously, has not been working. Well, then it sounds to me like it's time to try something new. Yeah, maybe you're onto something. Something new. Oh, what could that be? I guess I'll have to think about it. Thanks, Timmy. You always do come up with the best ideas. Hmm, I gotta be careful. Maybe I can find something in there. Something just to help what I need. Let's see. All right, gotta be careful. Oh, there's a security guard here. What do I do? Hey, you! You're not supposed to be here! Ugh! Ugh! Just wait until Noah finds out about this. Ronnie? Ronnie, where are you? I know you're home. Where are you? I thought I banned you from the house. Ronnie, I have officially had enough with you. How dare you say that to me when you literally broke into my house last night? What are you talking about? I did no such thing. Yes, you did. You can't lie to me about this. I have security cameras, idiot, and also a security guard who described you perfectly. Ugh, great. You're big, fancy security. You know what, Noah? I hate you. You don't deserve anything that you've gotten. Oh, hey, 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 easy. It's four o'clock on a Tuesday, boys. Calm down. No, Dad, I'm sorry. I cannot calm down right now. Ronnie broke into my house and tried to rob me last night. Yeah, and I probably would have gotten away with it, too. You know what, Noah? Everything was perfectly fine until you came into the picture. Oh, my gosh, Ronnie. Stop it, okay? Just back off. Make me, loser. All right, boys. Hey, 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 cut it out right now. I'm sorry, Dad, but... I, I just can't do it anymore. I never want to see Ronnie ever again. As far as I know, my brother is dead to me. Look, Noah, you and I can talk numbers all day long, but I just got to know, are you interested in this deal or not? I've been thinking about it all week. It is a huge offer. Listen, if you take the deal, then both of our businesses can do amazing things. I know. We could change a lot of lives, change this city. I think you're right. Jeremy, you've got a deal. Awesome. Noah, you just became a whole lot richer. Yeah. Thanks. And so did you. And I think I know exactly what I'm going to do with the money. This charity event is going so well. We're raising a lot of money. This is absolutely nuts. This has to be the most you've ever donated to charity. Yeah, actually, I think you're right. It is. And hey, congratulations on the big day, Mr. Billionaire. It's in all the newspapers. I mean, it took a while, but... I told you if you worked hard, you would make your dream come true. Dream come true? This guy's a fraud. My brother is an absolute jerk. He doesn't plan to use any of his money for good. He's literally donating to charity, you idiot! Ronnie, that's not how donating money works. You actually have to do it. Uh, no one understands me! Ronnie, I tried to understand you, but sometimes you can only do so much for someone. It's time you learn to change things for yourself. No, 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 no! Jonathan, what is your problem? You're my problem, Craig. I hate you. You're the worst brother on the planet. Jonathan, you're acting crazy. You must have burned $100,000! Oh, there's gotta be a way for me to put it out. Ow! Ooh, it's hot! Ugh! Oh, what am I gonna do? Ow! Hey, what was that for? It's for being the worst brother. You're dead to me. I'm dead to you? Jonathan! Jonathan, get back here! Jonathan! Jonathan, where are you? Mansion on fire! Mansion on fire! Let's move it! Yeah, that's my mansion on fire. Ugh, all because of Jonathan. Now my entire home and my savings are completely destroyed. All this money I'm making is getting me into a lot of problems now. My own brother hates me. I think it's because of all this money. I've tried to help him, but he just abuses it. He just throws the money I give him away, basically. I can't be giving him free handouts anymore. I don't think it's gonna do him any good or teach him anything. <laughs> Ow! Uh, hey! Hey, stop! Stop right there! Oh, I know you. You're Craig. You know me? Yeah, you're Jonathan's billionaire brother. Your brother owes me a lot of money. Maybe you can make up for it. No, please, just just stay away from me. Ugh, oh, the cops. Uh, you got lucky this time. Ow! Uh, what is going on? I know this place. It's like I'm dreaming or something. This is the old orphanage we used to live at. And look, there we are. Jonathan and I always had each other's backs. We both never met our parents and grew up in an orphanage. It wasn't easy, but it taught me responsibility and it led me to work really hard. But Jonathan didn't like that. As I grew older and wanted to become more successful, it seemed like Jonathan grew more and more jealous, starting to hate me because of it. Now, I don't even know who he is anymore. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that was a dream. Man, 
Ow, my head hurts. That criminal. Oh, I can't think about that now. I've got to go check on my house. There he is, right there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. It's true. He burnt down his own house. He's crazy. Well, this is something I've never seen before. No, sir, he's lying. I didn't burn down my own house. Oh, so you're the homeowner, huh? Don't listen to this guy. He's the crazy one. He's lying to you. So what did you do? Leave a candle going? A pot of macaroni and cheese on the stove or something? By the looks of you, actually, you probably don't even cook. No, sir, I was not home at all. This is my brother, and he's the one that actually burnt it down. Listen. Whatever it is, you've got to be more careful, okay? This could have been a whole lot worse. Uh, stupid rich people doing their stupid rich things. Jonathan, what is your problem? First you burn my savings and now my home? You're my problem, Craig. You always think you're better than everybody else. No, I do not. You seem to think I do, but I don't. Oh, and by the way, I ran into one of your friends on the way here. What was the deal with that, huh? He said you owed him some money. Why don't you mind your own business? Mind my own business? You know what? This is why I don't help you. Because I can't trust you. You just don't understand what I'm going through. My life has been so hard. Both of our lives have been difficult, Jonathan. I know that. I was there with you. You just don't get it. You know what? I'm not buying it. You keep saying I don't get it, but I think you're just making all this up. Well, I think you're a terrible person, and you never look out for anybody but yourself. Of course I look out for you. You're my brother. I'm just not giving you free handouts anymore. But you're a billionaire. You know what? Forget it. You're so annoying. Stop trying to be my brother, because you're not. Is there anything in here? <sighs> okay, this will work, I guess. How am I stuck here eating this garbage while Craig can enjoy five-star meals. This isn't fair at all. He's the worst brother in the whole world. He betrayed me, and there's no going back now. And there's no way for you to run either. Whoa, hey, Bruno. What are you doing here? I'm actually just looking around for you. Where you been, huh? Uh, you know, I've been around. Listen, listen, listen. I'm working on getting your money, so don't worry about that. Well, I'm very, very worried, Jonathan. I'm tired of waiting, too. Take it easy, Bruno. Ah! Listen, listen. I've got a plan. I know how we can make both of us rich. Oh, really, huh? I'm listening. Okay, so my brother is a billionaire. Yeah, yeah, you said that before. So what if we, uh, I don't know, decided to take some of that money from him? You're gonna rob your own brother. Really? I mean, that's a good idea. Something I would do. Yeah, see, exactly. Well, if you're willing to turn on your own brother, that's your choice. All I care about is getting my money back. Well, he's not really like a brother to me anymore. I hate him, so it'll be my pleasure to steal from him. Breaking news! The richest mansion in the state was just burned to the ground! It seems like the owner of this mansion was very reckless. Who knows what he could have done? I know if I had a mansion that large, I would actually take care of it. Instead of burning it to the ground like these crazy rich people! Dude, this is all over the news and the internet. Yeah, I know. Why did you burn down your own house? I didn't burn down my own house, Wes. It was my brother. Wait, really? That's terrible. How could your brother do something like this? I have no idea. I'm trying to have a relationship with my brother, but he's way too childish. He puts all the blame on everyone else but himself. He seems to hate me just because I have money. Look, man, I know that times are tough, but you can't ever give up on family. Yeah, you're right. I don't want to give up on him, but he's making it so difficult. I mean, the man literally burnt down my house, Wes. Well, maybe it's time to teach him some responsibility. What if you gave him a job? Yeah, I think you're right. He definitely needs a lesson in responsibility. Maybe an opportunity like this will change everything. Maybe it'll turn him around. Jonathan? Oh, there he is. Jonathan, I've been looking for you. Oh, Craig. Actually, the person I wanted to see. Wait, what? You wanted to see me? Yeah, you know, I've been thinking. I really want to work on acting like brothers again. We're family. We shouldn't be acting like this. You have no idea how happy I am to hear that. I've been thinking about all of this non-stop too, and that's what I want too. I miss you, man. And I miss you too. So, what what are you doing here? Well, I want to come and offer you a job. I want you to come work with me. Wait, really? That's awesome! So, you accept the job? This is gonna be great! This is just the opportunity that I need! Well, perfect. We'll start tomorrow. Alright, so this is the office, and I think you can take that desk right here. Wow, really? My own desk? Yeah, of course. You're gonna need it. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Craig. This is the best opportunity ever. But listen, Jonathan, I want you to take this seriously seriously, okay? And make sure you work hard. If you do, I promise your work won't go unnoticed. Don't worry. I've got a lot planned. Well, that's good. That's the attitude I like to hear. I'm glad you're finally turning everything around. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, this is an important call. Look, I'm gonna take this. Uh, good luck with everything, okay? You're gonna do great. <laughs> This is too easy. This must be Craig's office. Let's see what's on his computer. Oh, man. <laughs> it's about time.
time that I'm gonna become a billionaire. It's a shame, Craig, that your entire company is about to go bankrupt once I transfer this billion dollars into my bank account. <laughs> there you are. I was thinking you weren't gonna show up. Oh, come on. What do you take me for? Well, did your plan go through or what? It's been taking you long enough. It went through perfectly. Craig didn't expect anything. <laughs> perfect, perfect. I should have expected as much since, you know, I came up with the plan. Yeah, Sure thing, man. So where's my cut, huh? Where's all that money you owe me? You said you were gonna make me rich. Hmm, you know about that. I've been doing some thinking, and why would I give you a cut when I did all the work? What are you talking about? You owe me some money. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I get to keep all this money for myself. Oh, you two-timing slimy piece of trash. You're gonna get it. Freeze, stop right there. What? Where did you come from, huh? We've been looking for you for a long time, Bruno. You're coming with me. You know, Bruno, now that I'm a billionaire, you'd be surprised at how much power I actually have. Oh, Jonathan, this isn't over. Officer, arrest this guy. With pleasure. Come on, loser. No, hey, listen, this is a big misunderstanding, all right? No, I'm not Bruno. I'm, uh, I'm Billy. I'm Billy. Shut up, Bruno. Get in the car. Man. My life is awesome now. Jonathan, you cannot be serious. Oh, well, hello, Craig. My, my, my. I can't believe you fell for that. And this is why I can't trust you, Jonathan. I give you a chance and you do nothing but burn me. Literally stealing money from my company. Well, because of that chance, I'm a billionaire now. So thanks for all the money. <sighs> Jonathan, you're impossible. You and I are brothers. We're supposed to have each other's backs, remember? Oh, is that so? Well, now you're going to see how it feels to be in my shoes. Have fun being poor. You're probably going to be homeless, too. I'm not going to let you get away with this. I'm going to get that money back one way or another. We'll see about that. Now get out of my mansion. Fine, but this is not over. I can't believe your brother stooped this low to take our company. Yeah, now we've lost everything. I literally don't have anything else for Jonathan to take from me. How did he even get away with something like this? I don't know. I've already tried talking to the police, but without proof, there's nothing I can do. I guess we're out of luck then. Well, we can't just give up. I'll figure something out, Wes. Man, well, now I got to go tell my family that we might be homeless soon. Could you at least try talking to your brother? See if you can make a deal or something? Trust me, I want to. I would love to talk to my brother and convince him to give that money back, but I just have a feeling he's gonna be so stubborn and he's not gonna budge. Just please do it for me, okay? Yeah, of course. I'm sorry again, Wes, for everything. Man, I've gotta get this figured out soon. I can't let something bad happen to Wes and his family. I guess I am gonna have to talk to Jonathan after all. This party is awesome! Who knew I'd make so many friends just by being rich? Hey, Jimmy, your party's really amazing. Amazing. It's Jonathan, but yeah, thanks. Yo, dude, can I get like a thousand dollars real quick? You know what? I'll give you ten thousand dollars. Here you go. Oh, awesome. Ten K? Sweet. Thanks, Jonah. Really appreciate it. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. Jonathan, what is happening here? Oh, hey, Craig. I'm throwing an amazing party only for my new friends. I've never seen these people before in my life. I don't think you have either. Is this the company you really want to keep around yourself? Yeah, it is. And I don't want you around here. Jonathan, I'm your brother. No matter what, I'm always going to be in your life. You're going to have to deal with that. We also have to talk about what you did. You didn't just steal from me. You stole from a lot of people I work with, too. Because you took the company, a lot of people are out of jobs. Yeah, whatever. They can find other jobs. It's not my problem. Problem. This isn't right, Jonathan, and this is not you. We're the only family we have. We can't just be turning on each other like this and stealing each other's money. As your brother, I'm telling you to stop what you're doing right now and give me back everything you took. As far as I know, my brother's dead, so get lost. Why do you keep saying that? Look, Craig, if you don't get out of here, I'm gonna start paying my friends to kick you out. Really? You'd kick your own brother out of your house? You're not my brother. Stop saying that. You know what, Jonathan? Fine. You're gonna be sorry for what you did. You'll see one day. Yeah, sure, I'll see. So what do you think, Wes? Not too bad, huh? Yeah, it's pretty nice, but what is it? Well, I was able to sell the rest of my stuff and get a little bit of money, and I'm gonna buy this new office building. We can start a new business in it. Begin fresh all over again. Wait, really? That's amazing. That is as long as the deal goes through. Yes, I'm gonna make a few calls. But I'll get everything sorted out for you. All right, great. Thanks. See, this real estate agent is gonna make everything happen. And if everything goes to plan, we'll have money back in no time. Having to tell my family that I might be homeless really wasn't good. But hey, maybe this will cheer them up. 
up now. Just wait and see, Wes, I promise. Looks like the seller is extremely interested. And if everything goes according to plan, we'll be looking real good, gentlemen. Oh, this is incredible. This is awesome. We should do something to celebrate. Yeah, I totally agree. Excuse me, are you selling this building? Because I would love to buy it. I'm extremely sorry, sir, but I actually just sold this building to another gentleman that literally walked away. Yeah, I actually knew that. That's why I want to buy it. Um, excuse me? I can offer way more money than he offered you. Really? <laughs> I'm listening. I haven't had a good meal like that in a couple days. That was so good. Thank you for taking me out and everything, Wes. I appreciate it. Of course, it's the least I could do. So, is this the new apartment you've been staying at? Yeah, it's not much, but it's better than being homeless for right now. We'll get you and your family out of here soon. <sighs> Uh, hey, can you excuse me for a second? Yeah, of course. Sam, what's going on? Why are you throwing all your toys around in here? Dad, I hate everything that's happening. I don't want to be homeless. Listen, son, don't worry. Dad's got a plan, okay? We're not going to be homeless. But you said the other day that it might happen. I'm scared. Just don't be scared, Sam. I'm your dad. I'll protect you no matter what happens. You really mean it, Dad? Of course I do, son. Now go back to bed. Sorry about that, man. Yeah, no, please, don't worry at all. I actually think I should uh, get going. We've got a busy couple days ahead of us. Yeah, you're right. I really hope all this works out. It will, man. Keep your head up. I have a good feeling about this. Wait a minute. This isn't the building, is it? No, this was it. What happened to it? Was there some kind of tornado or something I didn't know about last night? No, but it's completely destroyed. Oh, hey, Craig. Say, sorry, I had to buy this place so I could put in a new pool. Excuse me? Jonathan, what? Yeah, my other place only had seven pools, so I needed an eighth one. Oh my gosh, you you can't be serious. Haven't you taken enough from me? You know, I've been thinking about that, and I don't think so. I think I need to take even more from you. Now that I'm rich and I have power, I can ruin your life. You are ridiculous, and you're not going to keep getting away with this, Jonathan. I can promise you that. Oh yeah? Just watch me. <laughs> I think we're done for, Craig. What else can we do now? We'll find a way to make some more money and, and we'll, we'll get another building. We've got to keep our heads up. That's all. I don't know, man. Your brother's making this impossible. We're going to think of something, Wes. Don't worry. Thanks for meeting me here, Wes. How are you and your family holding up? Well, my wife and my son are okay for now. Listen, I just didn't want to talk about all this in front of my family. It would just worry them. I completely understand. I hate that your family is going through this too. It's not fair to them. It really isn't. But hey, I've been looking everywhere and it's really hard to start a brand new business right now. Especially because now we really have no money. I know, but we're going to find a way. You hear that noise? Yeah, what is that? Yeah, this car is sick. Woohoo! Absolutely ridiculous, man. You and I are suffering, and my brother's just out celebrating, blowing all of our hard-earned money on that stupid sports car. It's just a horrible reminder now. Now that we're ruined, I'm gonna have to go back to making minimum wage now. No, you're not gonna do that. We're gonna get our jobs back. How are you so sure about that? Because I'm gonna get that money back no matter what, even if I have to steal it. What? You're gonna steal it back? I don't think I have any other option. That money is rightfully mine. I just need to figure out a way to get it back. Breaking news! There's a new billionaire in town, and he's being as reckless as ever! It's obvious he's loving his new lifestyle, but how did he get all this money? Who cares? He's rich! Ah, that good-for-nothing Jonathan! How could I have let this happen to me? That idiot took me for a fool! It's not fair! He's out celebrating with all my money! I'm in here! Hey, Bruno! got a visitor. Visitor? Who would visit me? I ain't got no friends. I don't know. He just said he's here to see you. Now let's move. All right, all right. Jeez. Oh, it's you. What do you want? You and your dumb brother other got me arrested. Look, I know. I heard all about it. What happened to you, huh? I thought you were a billionaire. Yeah, well, at least I'm not in jail. Oh, wow. Well, that ho ho ho. You're lucky I'm stuck in here. What do you want? Are you just here to rub it in my face or what? I'm here to actually ask for your help. My help? I'm not gonna help you. I want to steal the money back from Jonathan. Oh, really? I thought you were quote unquote better than all that. Look, I need that money back and I need to know how. So you're gonna help me or not? This is it, the orphanage where Jonathan and I grew up. This is where our lives started. It seems like the perfect place. <sighs> What do you want, Craig? Why'd you call me here anyway? Do you remember this place? Look at it. Of course I remember this place. How could I forget it? You and I both grew up here. Back when we were here, our lives were easy, but we loved each other and we were best friends. I would do anything for you and you would do anything for me. We were both in the same environment, but clearly we grew different mindsets. You abandoned me. You got your job and then you started to work overtime. Yeah, I did work really hard, but I didn't abandon you. If neither of us got a job, we would have ended up on the streets and I didn't want that for either of us. Well, I did end up on 
on the streets, Craig. Because you didn't work for anything. I just felt like you expected me to do everything for you. Please, just think about this, okay? Do the right thing right now. No way. <sighs> Why are you being so stubborn? The brother I loved is still in there somewhere. He would know he needed to do the right thing. And he would give me all that money back so I could fix things. Not just for me, but for everyone else that you affected too. You call yourself my brother. My brother was a strong person, not like the low life that you are. You just wanted me to come here so you could cry and then I'd give you your money back. That's not gonna happen. And I don't care about your employees. I don't care if they're homeless. They mean nothing to me. Why are you being so heartless? Oh, you make me so, so angry. Oh, okay, that does it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Hey, whoa, whoa, you two, stop. What are you doing? You're gonna regret doing that. What is your problem, man? I've never seen you like that before. It was nothing. I just needed to find a way to get these. Are those the keys to his mansion? Exactly. Now there's one last thing I have to do. All right, I hope this is the key. It is, perfect. Now I just need to find his computer. Where would he put it? Probably has all his banking information on it. It has to. There it is, right there. All right, I've gotta get a password in. What would his password be? Let me try something Jonathan would say. I'm awesome million one enter. Whoa, it worked. Of course I did it. All right, let's see here Of course, Jonathan has his information up because he loves looking at money And I'm just gonna take all this and put it back in my account transfer it to Craig enter We'll wait until Wes finds out about this. We'll have everything back to normal now I gotta get out of here before Jonathan comes back. Sorry to burst your bubble Jonathan, but you had this coming I had to do what I had to do. I can't believe you did it Craig. You got all the money back. Well, except for the stuff that Jonathan spent. Yeah, I know. I can't believe it. Craig, you little rat. I know you did this. Did what, Jonathan? You took everything. You took my billions of dollars. You mean my billions of dollars. I did nothing wrong. I just took back what was rightfully mine. I can't believe it. You stole it. This isn't over. This isn't over. Just wait and see. I've never actually seen him that angry before. Why do you look so upset, man? We did it. We took everything back from your brother. I know, but I still feel bad. I mean, that is my brother after all. I just wish we could get along. I don't know what happened and why he changed. Look, I get it, but don't worry. You'll get it all sorted soon, I know. I'm starting to lose hope on that. I've tried so hard to get through to Jonathan, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. We'll get it all sorted out. I can't believe this. I knew Craig would try to pull something like this. He stole all of my money, but that's exactly why I made sure that I had a backup plan. This video here will catch the criminal. <laughs> How can I help you, sir? Sir, I need your help. Someone broke into my house and they took everything from me. They took all my money, all of my furniture. It's the worst. What? That's crazy. Do you have any evidence to show that this person did it? I actually do. Thankfully, I'm rich. Or, well, I was rich. <laughs> so I installed security cameras all around the house. I know exactly who did it. Oh, yeah? So who did it? You're not going to believe it. Just watch the tape. This all has to be some kind of joke. I've been bailed out of jail. Oh, who? who would bail me out? It was me. You. Well, I can't believe this. This is probably like the best day of my life. Well, I wanted to thank you for all your help. Oddly enough, without it, I don't think I would have gotten all my money back. So you really got me out of prison. Well, of course I did. I believe it's never too late to change. I don't think people are bad. They just choose to do bad things. And they can also choose to change and do good ones as well. Yeah, yeah I guess you're right. I mean, I'm not a bad guy. Listen, I know your past decisions haven't been great, but maybe now you can turn your life around. I was never good at anything except for stealing stuff. Even then, I mean, look, I got caught and thrown in jail. This is why I had to be a criminal. I can't do nothing. Well, you don't have to be a criminal anymore. Why don't you come work for me? Well, what? Work for you? No. After everything, how could you even trust me, huh? Well, you helped me, so I just want to return the favor. If you're interested, the job is yours. Wow. Thanks, Ben. You know, no one's ever believed in me like that before. Well, don't worry. Now I'm gonna help you get started. Not so fast. Not so fast? What? What is it? Are you Craig, sir? Yeah, that's me. Uh, can I help you with something, sir? Then you are under arrest for theft. You're gonna be in prison for a long time. Alright, kid. Listen, just be reasonable here. We got the videotape and everything. We know it's you. If you just confess, everything will be a whole lot easier. Look, detective, what I told you before, all of it is true. I was in that house because I was taking my money back. This is all originally mine. Jonathan, my brother, is the real criminal. He started this. He stole it in the first place and I'm taking it back. Oh yeah? Do you have any proof of this? Um, unfortunately I don't. Jonathan actually covered his tracks really, really well. But I know for a fact that it's him. Well, 
You might know that, but without any proof, there's nothing I can do. Enjoy life in prison, you criminal. I am not a criminal. Just, just listen to me. No, I'm done listening. Here, I'll leave the TV on for you. You need to listen to this. Isn't it incredible when you see a rich person fall from grace? Well, we have the story just for you. Craig has stolen from his billionaire brother. And now the entire world is rooting for Jonathan. What? They're siding with him? Man, what am I gonna do now? Craig, what has happened to you? You're not a criminal. Here you are, stuck in jail. I've gotta figure out what to do. Hey, criminal, you've got a visitor. Jonathan, oh, I cannot believe you would actually show up here. How could you do this to me? Turn me in for something I didn't do. Well, I'm not the one that stole all that money. You were. Because you stole it first. Am I just like crazy here? Well, the whole world thinks you are. <laughs> I just don't get it. Jonathan, you're my brother. Why are you hurting me like this? Does it make you happy to hurt me? I would have done anything for you. I worked so hard and this is how you're acting? I don't even want to hear it from you. This is what you get for trying to leave me behind for a successful future. A future for the both of us. Yeah, yeah. That's what you always say. You can't be serious. You don't see it. I never left you behind. You're just in denial, Craig. Enough is enough. I'm the successful one now and you're the prisoner. Enjoy your miserable life in here. I'm not gonna spend my life in here. I'm gonna get out of this place and prove I'm innocent. I'll prove you wrong, Jonathan. Hey, officer, I'd like to make a phone call. All right, all I have to do is wait. Should be any minute now, as long as this works. All right, that's the alarm, and the door should be unlocked. Yes, perfect. I still can't believe I'm doing this. What about starting a new life, huh, Craig? Look, what's important right now is proving I'm innocent. This is the last crime I'm ever going to commit. <laughs> yeah, sure, you say that now. Trust me, this isn't a habit I'm gonna start. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. Follow me, I know the perfect escape route. If you know this escape route, why didn't you just escape before? If I didn't want to get caught, idiot, come on, you gotta keep quiet. The criminals are escaping, we gotta find them. See, like I said, you listen to me and I get you out. Oh, perfect, thanks for your help. Look, you only got a little bit of time left now to prove you're innocent. This prison is no joke. They are gonna find you. Okay, well, we've gotta get to my brother's mansion and figure out a way to get evidence. Prove that he is the one at fault here, not me. Eh, it should be easy. Your brother's stupid, then what do you do? after that. Well, I haven't really thought about it yet. What? You haven't thought about the rest of your plan? That's it so far. I'll think about it on the way. Are you sure this is gonna work? I gotta admit, I've heard some pretty terrible plans, but this is risky. This is gonna work. I'm sure it will. Yeah, well, I hope so. They are looking for you, and they're not gonna stop until they find you. You only got a little time left. Hurry up. Wow, so it's true. You really did break out of prison. Yeah, I did, to prove my innocence. Oh yeah? And how are you gonna do that? No one believed you from the start, and no one ever will. No one believes what exactly? Well, no one will believe how the money was originally yours and how I stole it from the beginning. Exactly. I'm going to make people believe the truth and they'll find out one way or another. <laughs> yeah, right. No one's going to find out. I covered my tracks perfectly. You have no evidence, no proof, and now you have no money. And now the cops are on their way here. You have no escape now. You know what, Jonathan? I'm really sorry for doing this. It hurts me since you're my brother, but I finally have the evidence. I need. What? What are you talking about? You just confessed to what you did, and I recorded the whole thing on my phone. Freeze, criminal. Officer, I need you to listen to this. This is the, all the evidence you need to prove who the real criminal is. Jonathan's confession. Oh, man. This is a mess now. I'm taking both of you in. What? I didn't do anything wrong. Shut up. I'm sick of this. Both of you in the back of the police car. Now. Listen, Craig, I'm sorry about this mix-up. Life can be crazy sometimes. I'm sure you know. Listen, I understand. I didn't have the evidence evidence at the time, but now you see the truth. Everything's fine. I'm just glad I was proven innocent. I just don't understand how your own brother can do this to you. Thought you guys were close or something. Look, I don't know why he did it either. I tried to understand, but I feel like there's no getting through to him. I wish it didn't have to come down to this. <laughs> I can't believe this. So, uh, what charges do you want to press against him again? Wait, Craig, I can't believe you bailed me out. I thought about it, but this is the right thing to do. But why? After everything I did to you? Trust me, I know. I know everything you did to me and how much it hurt me. But I don't want you to be in jail for the rest of your life. You are my brother. And when we were younger, I promised you that I'd take care of you no matter what. So I'm sticking true to my promise. You might not care about me, but I care about you. 
Craig, I never said I didn't care about you. Well, you didn't have to. Your actions said plenty. You spread the message loud and clear, Jonathan. I hope you can figure out the rest of your life, because you really need to. You and I were the only family we had left. Because of your actions, I have no one. What do you mean by that? You said it best yourself. You told me I was dead to you, and that you didn't have a brother anymore. Just remember, this is my last act as your brother. After this, you're probably never going to see me again. I really wish you the best, Jonathan, and I hope you get some help. <sighs> Where did it all go wrong? Wes, this was not easy, but we finally did it. Luckily, everything's back to normal. Yeah, and now we're going to be able to work towards the goals in life that we want. Get our company back the way it was. Maybe even better. Someone's here. Hold on a second. Jonathan? Look, Craig, I know I'm probably the last person you want to see, but I need to talk to you. What do you need to say? I'm sorry, Craig. I'm sorry for everything. I realize now how foolish I was, and I know that I'm in the wrong about all this. I was just afraid of losing you because I didn't know the rest of our family. So when I saw you start to go to work and be successful. I freaked out and I don't expect you to say anything. I just want you to know how sorry I am. Jonathan, that's all I've wanted to hear for so long. Wait, really? Of course. I want to see you now start working for yourself. And when you do, I'll be glad to work on our relationship again. I miss my brother and if you're willing to put in the work, so am I.